Hello everyone and welcome to a single player let's play that I have not touched upon in a long time. Not this game in general, but it's been three years since I did a single player LP. Can you believe that? And I'm finally back in 2015 to do Fallout 3. I was going to do the New Vegas DLC, but this came in mind and I figured let's do the game before that. So here we are, Fallout 3, starting out a new game. And let the opening cutscene commence. I don't want to set the world on fire. I just want to start a flame in your heart. In my heart I have but one desire, and that one is you, no other will do. I've lost all ambition for worldly acclaim. I just want to be the one you love. And with your admission that you feel the same, I have reached the goal I dream of being me. I don't want to set the world on fire. War. War never changes. Since the dawn of humankind, when our ancestors first discovered the killing power of rock and bone, blood has been spilled in the name of everything from God to justice to simple psychotic rage. In the year 2077, after millennia of armed conflict, the destructive nature of man could sustain itself no longer. The world was plunged into an abyss of nuclear fire and radiation. But it was not, as some had predicted, the end of the world. Instead, the apocalypse was simply the prologue to another bloody chapter of human history. For man had succeeded in destroying the world. But war, war never changes. In the early days, thousands were spared the horrors of the Holocaust by taking refuge in enormous underground shelters known as vaults. But when they emerged, they had only the hell of the wastes to greet them. All except those in Vault 101. For on that fateful day, when fire rained from the sky, the giant steel door of Vault 101 slid closed and never reopened. It was here you were born. It is here you will die. Because in Vault 101, no one ever enters, and no one ever leaves. Now before we actually get started with the game, I just want to say that I could go through the intro section here, but I kind of want to get things started. But to some of you that still want to know the story behind it, eh, here's an abridged version of it. <gasps> Damn it, I can't formulate words. It's a boy. A boy 
We've got a son, Catherine. You're going to need a name, aren't you? What do you think about... Oh, I was thinking something along like... Wait, Phil! What? That's a good name, don't you think? No! Fits you perfectly. Looks like they've finished the gene projection. Let's see what you'll look like when you're all grown up. Oh, God. Oh, God, no. Please, that's too bland. Wait, it's, it's shoved in my face. Maybe I can alter the things a little bit. Hang on. <laughs> there now, you see? Even as an infant, I'm able to decide my own fate. That's good. That's good. J You're just James? Catherine. James. Catherine. Wait, just what's going on? Lost. Start compression. What? The baby out of here. Wait, no, I didn't no. get to see my mother. No, don't take me away. No, no, please, please, no. Pop. Ow, my eye. One year later. Just a year old and already walking like a pro. Your mother would have been so proud. Listen, well, I didn't get to see her, and yet you blinded my eyes too. Alone, but I need you to take care of yourself for a minute. Uh, um. Okay. Um. Aren't you gonna be going somewhere? I don't know if like. <laughs> F Bethesda. You just stay here while Daddy runs to his office. You'll be okay, pal. I'll be back in a bit. Hey, look! I have hands too. Yay. Hey, a book. Wow, playing with these numbers, I feel so changed. <laughs> you are quite the little explorer, aren't you? You saw nothing. See that? It was your mother's favorite passage. It's from the Bible. Revelation 21.6. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give unto him that is a thirst of the fountain of the water of life freely. She always loved that. <laughs> All right, come on. Mama. Let's go see if your little friend Amato wants to play. I have a friend? Mama. Mama. Still can't get the hang of formulating words, but I'll get it eventually. Ah, Dad, are you farting a light? Nine years later. Oh god. Why am I not wearing glasses at this point? Happy birthday. Oh, my birthday? He is growing up so fast. So here you are. As overseer, I hereby present to you your very own Pip Boy 3000. Ooh, tech. Get used to it. You will be getting your first work assignment tomorrow. Oh, work. <laughs> Enjoy your party. You're only 10 once. So have fun. Who's your favorite barbarian? That's right, Grognak. Yay! I heard if I read and it, I'd be no more stronger. Attention, everyone! It's time to cut the cake! Oh boy, I'm hungry. <laughs> ah, no! How's it going, pal? Oh, uh, Dad, the cake's destroyed. Um. <laughs> Give me that sweet roll you got from old lady Palmer. Give me what sweet roll? Jonas is waiting for you downstairs on the reactor level. Go ahead. I don't think anyone will mind if you slip out for a few minutes. Hold on one more minute. I think your dad will want to give you the surprise himself. Your own BB gun. Oh uh, yeah! I feel like a double bamp now. <laughs> Yay! Smile! Wait, smile for what? Dad, I don't get what- ah! Six years later? Dad, I keep telling you, I do need glasses. Go on now. You've got a goat to take. Uh, Dad, the last time that we had a goat here, I kept sticking its tongue on everything and just, like, dragging it all around. The Generalized Occupational Aptitude Test. Goat. Oh! Hey, Dad, uh, just out of good luck, can I have this bobblehead? head? Thank you. If you mess with the tunnel snakes, you're asking for it. Got me? Might I make a suggestion to rename yourself to Silver Snakes? Like I'm gonna listen to a little shrimp like you. Get lost, Poindexter. Jerk. All set for the goat? Trust me, it really isn't that bad. Just something everybody has to go through. Question 10. Who is indisputably the most important person in Vault 101? He who shelters us from the harshness of the atomic wasteland and to whom we owe everything we have, including our lives. I love this test. Just between you and me, the whole test is a joke. If you don't no f***ing pancakes. No! 
is three years later. You've got to get out of here. Your dad is gone and my father's men are looking for you. You gotta help me! My mom's trapped in there with the rat roaches! Smashy smashy! Once again, I'm a bamf. We did it! My mom's gonna be okay! You're we the best friend I've ever had, man! Friend? Hey, I know it isn't much, but I want you to have my tunnel snake's jacket. Go ahead, take it. Okay, but I'm gonna embroider it with the word silver snakes. Pancakes! Nah, he'll be fine. Gods, help me! He's here, don't let him get away. Yeah, I'm gonna go now. Listen, if you do catch up with your dad, tell him I'm sorry for, you know, Jonas and my father and everything. I knew you'd turn up sooner or later. Da! Ah! Getting out of here! Getting out of here! Running! Running! Freedom! Hold up, gotta change the tag here. Much better. <laughs> so long, suckers. Oh my. I don't think we're playing, playing vanilla anymore. Nope, it's modded. Alright, enough with that little abridged segment, if, if, even if I call it that, because, eh, it was kind of like poorly done in my opinion, to some way, but I just wanted to get that out of the way and into this, so, welcome to Fallout 3 Modded, and let's get things out of the way here by allocating our points here as we get things along, and I had to change the tag from energy to medicine just because of how important medicine is in this one. For what, one of the mods that I have. And then the rest will probably go to small guns. And that should be good. Let's see. Next here we have a plethora of perks to choose from. Thanks to Ultimate Perk Pack. And the one I want to go for is Charge. Being able to keep my weapon up when I'm sprinting. Now, um, I could do something else. But let me wait a few seconds. Just so that I can... Wait for it. Get myself another perk. Yeah! And the one I want is Swift Reflexes. Being able to last through bullet time twice as long. And all that good stuff. Alright, so... Before I get into what I have to talk about here, I have a whole lot of things that I need to configure with the use of uh, stuff that was added into my inventory here. App, here we go, yep. I have a lot of things to change up as well as to uh, configure my UI, so I'll be right with you when I have everything configured. All right, guys, I am back after a, quite of an ex extensive period of time looking through all the settings and adjusting the HUD. I have now everything to my liking, and we can 
actually go ahead and get started. Pretty much starting off by uh, going over of why I want to go over this game. Uh, I figured it makes sense that uh, since I've enjoyed New Vegas, I figured I'd revisit this game, but with a more of a uh, modded playstyle. So why not? And also, just because there's been like a few r uh, good rumors going around, is the fact that Bethesda is probably working on their next big game, which is probably going to be Fallout 4. And there has been like some, like, pieces of evidence here and there that's hinting towards that. You know, if you remember the whole like, oh, uh, I forgot what it was called, like, some sort of like website thing that says like has some sort of countdown timer only for, only to find out to be a hoax, that sort of thing. And I was hoping it would be it, but. And yeah, it turns out not to be the case. And also there was like a release of like some sort of a script for like one of the characters being released and all that stuff. Uh, we wouldn't know until we hear, hear it straight from Bethesda themselves that everything's all set in stone, so. But regardless, we, we do have a good strong feeling that they're going to revisit this and make Fallout 4. So I figured I'd get this game out of the way. And of course, take a look at the DLC along the way as well. So, let's see what we got here. Hmm. Ooh, free war book. That'd be nice. So yeah, here I got a quite of a big uh, list of uh, mods that I have installed here. If you've probably noticed when you looked here in the main menu, you notice that I do have FWE, or Fallout Wanderers Edition installed. I also have Mars Mutant mod, and also I have a bunch of, uh, some sort of advanced recon sort of stuff. Um, I do have a big list of, like, uh, mods that you can take a look in the description that'll take you over to a forum post that I made in the forums, uh, giving you a list that I have. Uh, again, the most notable ones I've just said were, like, Wanderers Edition, Mutant mod, I have weapon mod kits, uh, iron sights, that I can do something like this. Oh, you know what? I, that's a setting that I forgot to mess with. I might as well do this on camera, since it's only really quick. There. I just want to adjust the blur. There we go. Looks much better now. I also have, like, Energy Visuals Enhanced, uh, Project Beauty, World of Pain, uh, uh, DC Moods, all that good stuff. Now, uh, here's something that I found here when I was just, you know, doing my playtesting. Apparently one of the mods decided to be pretty generous enough and give me the point lookout items, which something I wasn't expecting, but you know, can't just leave it sitting there. <laughs> and get some Nuka-Cola too. Yum. Here, let's take a look at some of the weapons here, huh? Let's see, we got the Jayhawk. And elephant gun. All right, good stuff. So I figure I'd go ahead and play this through here with uh, with the mods here. Uh, big of a note to mention about uh, Fallout Wanderers Edition. There, hang on a sec. Okay. All right, so talking about uh, Fallout Wanderers Edition, uh, you are you thinking that you, that I have things on default with it? Um, I'm sad, uh, sorry to disappoint, but no, it's not on its default settings. If you don't know what uh, FWE is all about, it really, really makes the game a lot harder. With having, like, global damage being a lot higher, you know, you really have to make very careful decisions whenever you approach people on how you want to, you know, like, take care of them and all that stuff. But really, um, I was afraid that it was going to, like, um, disrupt the flow of the of this uh, LP. And it, and it kind of did, because when I did some play testing to see, like, how well, like, like, oh, how quickly can I go ahead and do this quest? Apparently it did that by a lot, so I'd rather not, like, have that on, like, its default. So, it says that I wussed out, and I went for, I like vanilla preset. That's basically what it is, and it suddenly got foggy, just a tad bit, for a brief second. That was strange. Oh yeah, you probably noticed I entered into the bus. Yeah, that um, that's one of the mods, Bus World, which makes it so you can enter into several different kind of buses. 
and they all had different kinds of loots inside. So yeah, mostly vanilla settings with uh, FWE, because I want to keep things like nice and quick so I can get things all done in a good manner. Now it's questionable whether or not that the mods are going to stay on here as a whole, or, or it's probably going to be subjected to change, whether it being like I add or remove mods or I just change the in-game settings. Who knows? Heck, I might even change the Fallout Wanderers edition if I wanted to, to make it more difficult, but who knows? So anyway, I got stuff to sell, sir. Welcome, welcome! My name is Crow, and I travel the land offering vestments of protection. And you are fortunate I found you in time. You bear the look of one who is haunted. But I am proud to say that my wares can protect you from even the cruel claws of death itself. Have a look. <laughs> well rehearsed lines there, dude. If the clothes make the man, then here are the means to remake yourself. All right, guys, I'm going to go ahead and sift through all my belongings off screen. And when we come back to the next part, we're going to take a look at what Megaton has to offer. Also, I think I'm going to go ahead and adjust the rarity of finding chems here just to make things a little bit more difficult to find stem packs. And also to adjust the bar settings just a little bit. And I'll remember to do that next time. So tune in next time. Take care, everyone.